friends and welcome to my channel. My name is Momo. I do DIYs, upcycles and sewing projects. Today we're going to be making a tight fitting shirt loose. Let me fill you in on the backstory. In case you just woke up from a two year coma, the planet Earth has been in the grips of a global pandemic. As a result, a couple of local consignment stores, including a big Goodwill location near me, had to close their doors. So I turned to online apps such as Poshmark for sourcing items for my wardrobe and my sewing projects. What I like about Poshmark is that you can filter stuff by brand, your size, and even the condition of the item. So I ordered a brand new, new and tag J. Crew shirt in my size, but when I tried it on, it was too tight. And that's how I found out I was not that size anymore. Yes, you guessed it, it's the COVID-20. Anyway, I couldn't send the item back and I had to make it work. So I decided to make it fit. But since this is a button down shirt, there is no extra material to recover. Uh, most ready to wear clothes are cut and sewn based on standard size shirts. This may vary from one brand to another, which means that if you're a size six in one brand, you may be a size eight in another. Sometimes even within the same brand, one line of shirts may be cut slightly smaller than the rest. This happens because brands use manufacturers and factories all over the world. The factory may have their own commercial sewing pattern which they use to produce their garments and they sell it to their customers across different markets. The garments are labeled based on the size chart that is provided by the brand. There may not be uniformity in the sizes. So if you don't fit into a standard size chart, you are not alone. I think most of us don't, at least not all the time. Reality is that the human body, especially women's bodies, um, fluctuate slightly throughout the month and even sometimes within the same day. And it depends on a variety of factors such as hormones, where you are in your menstrual cycle, your stress level, or even water retention caused by eating too much salt or sugar. So there can be many factors why clothes may not fit you correctly today, but one thing is for sure, if the clothes don't fit you, don't beat yourself up. It's really important that you don't put yourself down because of it. Understand that you are worth more than the clothes. It's just clothes and the clothes can be fixed. In this video, I will share with you my attempt on fixing this shirt to fit me. So hit that subscribe button, turn on the notifications and let's get started. Let's take a look at my shirt. I was able to close the buttons. So that's a great start. Uh, let me show you the back. Here you can see that I have too many folds of fabric in the lower back area. What this indicates is that the shirt was actually cut specifically for a straight body type. Um, and since I have larger boobs, the, the fabric is getting pulled and stretched in the front, causing the folds in the back. When I'm resting my arms, the sleeves fit fine, but when I move my arms, the shirt gets stretched in the back shoulder area. This means that I need to loosen the sleeves and add some more fabric in the underarm area. To solve these issues, uh, we'll add a fabric panel on both sides of the shirt. We will make the sleeves looser by adding a fabric panel under the arm. We will extend the measurements sideways by eliminating the front button placket overlap. And we will add another inch or so by adding a fabric panel in the back. Okay, but you must be thinking, the shirt is already too tight. Where the hell am I going to find the extra fabric? Well, my friends, if the shirt is long enough, you can cut the fabric on the bottom hem and use that for the side panels. You can buy half a yard of fabric in a matching color or even a contrast color for your panels. You can add ladder trim or you can even add lace or decorative trim that will complement your shirt. For this project, I'm using items from my stash. So I found this turquoise lace to hem tape that matches the colors of the shirt. And I also have this green bias tape lying around that I will use to line the lace hem tape. 
I'm going to iron out the seam binding tape and apply the lace tape on top. This would give me an inch of extra fabric to play with. I am now going to sew the lace hem tape to the green bias tape and make about six yards of tape. I estimated this by measuring starting from the cuff on the sleeves to the armpit and down the side of the shirt. So for the side seams, we need about 1.5 yards. For two sides, it's going to be a total of three yards. Plus I need two yards for the placket and one yard for the back. As a first step, I'm going to cut the sides of the shirt open. You can totally use your seam ripper and take the sides apart if you have the patience. It really makes no difference, save your time. It might give you a quarter inch extra fabric to play with. Is it really worth it? I don't think so. I'm starting from the bottom hem of the shirt and cutting the seam to the armpit and continue cutting all the way down the sleeve until I reach the cuff. I'm going to match the right sides of the hem tape I made and the shirt and start sewing starting at the cuff. keeping the seam allowance very very narrow here which is dangerous but I think it will be okay. I will repeat the same process on the other sleeve. This would add a solid two inches to the width of the shirt, but we aren't done yet. To fix the back, I'm going to cut open the center back until I reach the shoulder panel. I'm going to match the right sides of the hem tape I made and the shirt and start sewing starting at the bottom hem and then close the other side to add another inch to the back of the shirt. The front placket has about 1.25 inches fabric hidden in it so I'm going to remove the buttons and sew the front shut by joining the edges. To cover the buttonholes I will add the decorative tape. So I'm starting with applying the tape to the side that rests on top.
I am going to remove the buttons from the front and alter the placket. Next, I'm going to apply the decorative tape to cover the buttonholes. As a final step, I'm going to join the placket down the middle by sewing the green bias tape underneath. I will then line up the other side and sew that to the strip underneath as well. I will leave enough space at the neckline so I can pass my head through the opening. And with that, the shirt alteration is now complete. If you like this video, please hit like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. I had a wonderful time hanging out with you today. And I will see you in the next video. Here's the final reveal. Turning